Welcome to Sales Grid. Let's have a look at how you can manage your content system inside Sales Grid. And again, the really cool thing with Sales Grid is that with your content system, uh, you've got a whole bunch of features here for how to organize and, and view content, but it's all fully integrated with your playbook. So I encourage you to check out the playbook video where you can relate content to actions in your playbook. Uh, but with uh, content, we're just going to focus on this video, just some key tips on how to manage your content. So you'll notice that with your new uh, account, it will come preloaded with a bunch of content. In fact, you'll have about 27 content items that come preloaded with your account. And you'll also note that, um, uh, so yeah, if we go back to the beginning, when you're on your home page, you, you've got these three actions here. You can upload, create, and find content. So if we click here and say we want to find content, that takes you to the content page and you can search for content. So if I'm searching for stuff around a first meeting, I type in the words first and it brings up um, you know, any content cards that have that keyword in the search criteria. The search criteria are based off the title and description as well as the custom tags. And then in, in sales grid, we also have this ability to then to actually allocate content to stages and steps in, in the playbook, as well as generally allocated content. But yeah, so when you when you create content, you want to be thinking about your title and your description. Yeah, that's that's your fundamental sort of our search-based uh, data. Where it, but you can also use tags. You'll see in your in your site you've got one tag set up called discovery, but you can easily create new tags. So if you wanted to create a tag for um, if, if, if first meeting was really important to you, you could actually create a tag for first meetings and, um, and that tag will now be available in the system. Let's just have a look at, a bit of a look at um, uh, content. So um, we go, um, when we look at content, we've got different types of content cards. I'll just clear this just to, uh, by the way, to clear your search, you can click on the, the X mark there. You can see here in your account, you'll have Excel, you've got PowerPoint, PDF files. You can upload any type of file into Sales Grid, um, you know, preferably Office documents or a PDF. You know, if we click on this one here, you know, you've got here a buyer persona template, which you can download and use in PowerPoint and reload uh, into, into Sales Grid. But yeah, the key point here is you've got a preview of the PowerPoint. Likewise, if I go back to that Excel, you know, there's a preview available here. So you always have a preview of, of the content. Um, you can share content with a colleague by copying the link, you can download it. And as the owner of content, you can also, um, you have permissions around updating and deleting content. So, so yeah, so it's pretty easy to add content. You just click on the add button. Likewise, you could also add content by clicking on the upload file or create content buttons here. You'll note that um, in fact, by the time this video, you're watching this video, there'll be a fifth content card type here called email template. At the moment, there are four types. Um, uploading a file, you can also link to any uh, URL on the internet. Uh, typically, that's going to be your Google Drive or Box or OneDrive or SharePoint or whatever. Um, so you can link there. You can also create a text card. So this is a popular one where you can copy and paste in text, but you can also insert videos. You've got really got a whole uh, text editor here uh, for creating uh, rich text cards for really any sort of uh, piece of content. Could be scripts, could be templates, could be embedded video and so on. And you can also create checklists uh, yeah, if you want to really document in part of your process any sort of key checklist items. So yeah, and when you create a content card, always put in a title and a description. You don't have to, you know, title is, met, is the only mandatory field, but we encourage you to um, uh, put in a description just for that keyword search piece and then also add a tag um, you know, if, if you want to. So yeah. Um, it's going to cancel out of that. Uh, final other point would be uh, when we click on these um, cards, you might say, "Well, this is a buyer persona. I don't want to. I don't want my salespeople sharing this information with customers." So you can then make that for internal use only, and so that that message will appear on the uh, on the card. And that that's a bit of an overview of 
that's a bit of an overview of uh, content cards. Yeah, here's another text card here where we've actually embedded a video uh, from TK. And yeah, that's, that is um, a bit of an intro to uh, managing content. You should find it pretty, pretty easy to use. But again, we we'll have a look at the playbook video. And in the playbook video, we make the point again that we can actually relate all this content to actions in actually relate content to actions in your um, in your playbook. And that's what really makes sales good really powerful, this idea of mapping out your sales process in clear stages and steps and then actions behind each step to go, okay, this is specifically what you need to do and here's all the content you've got to actually help you do it. So there you go. Enjoy Sales Grid.